category that would tell us how would somebody know that this is indeed a revelation from the creator of the heavens and sure. this Quran. This Establishing that the Quran is actually from Allah, from the creator of the heavens and the earth, the Lord and sustainer and provider of all, um, it's, it's absolutely critical for a number of reasons. For the, the most fundamental reason being that if you are absolutely convinced after some pondering and research and reflecting on the evidences on your own, if you're absolutely convinced that this is in fact the word of Allah, it's the word of the Creator. Mm -hmm. Now, the Qur'an has been looked at as the ultimate miracle by Muslim scholars from the very beginning. You know, we heard this guy saying that uh, uh, Qur'an was a miracle from the beginning to the Muslims, which is ex extremely false because simply, if that is true, uh, why they keep asking Muhammad, even the Muslim themselves, about doing miracles so that will make things easier for those who do not believe to believe. Then we see that Muhammad, he is saying it clearly in his Quran. Uh, I will give you some examples. Uh, chapter 10, verse number 20. I will read any translation of your choice, you know, whatever you want. Choose any translation you like and we can read it from there. You know? It says, they say, why not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, the unseen is the only is only for Allah to know. This is between two brackets, not existing in the Quran anyway. Then wait ye, I too wait with you. Uh, you know, uh, which means, I too will wait with you. Which means, it's, it's coming. The miracle is coming. Okay. If the Quran itself, it's a miracle. Why he didn't say to them, you idiot. Don't you see the Quran? Don't you see it's a miracle? And we can find this all over the Quran. Now, if we go and read, you know, look for this chapter, chapter 10, verse number uh, 20, and we look where we can find, because many people, they think that the Quran is the same as the Bible, you know? The Bible is the book in order, like Genesis, etc., the way it is the oldest to the newer, etc. Uh, in the Quran, it's not. Even verses are not really accurate the way supposedly Muhammad he gave them. And I will give you an example. Uh, but before we go there, if we go right now and check chapter 10, verse number 20. This chapter was given to Muhammad according to the Muslim. You know, when? What exactly? What time? We will see the following. In this uh, schedule in here, um, we see the, 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 the number of the chapter in the book today, the book we have it between our hand, and the way it was given to Muhammad. As an example, according to the Muslims, chapter number one uh, in the book today, which is Al-Fatiha, was given to Muhammad as number five. Chapter number two was given to Muhammad as 87, which means the Quran today is messed up. Because this is chapter number two, the cow chapter should be uh, uh, number 87 in the true book of Muhammad. So now we go and we see this verse in chapter 10, when it was given. Chapter 10, as we see in here, was given as a chapter 51. So this means after 51 chapter was given to Muhammad, they are asking him, why you don't give us a miracle? Which means long after Muhammad became a prophet and after many tons of verses been given already, is still Muhammad he have no miracle. You know what I'm saying? After all of this, because if you have a miracle, they will uh, they will not ask him, well, well, why you don't give us a miracle? And that said, show us a miracle of you. So, and we can go and see the same all over. If we go to chapter number 2, verse number 118, it says the following. Uh, say to those without knowledge, why speak not to Allah, uh, Allah to, uh, and to us? Why Allah don't talk to us? Or why comes not into uh, us with a sign? You see it? So they are asking Muhammad, why you don't give us, okay, okay, give us a sign? Give us a sign. Give us a miracle. If we look in the schedule we have in front of us about the Quran, we will find that chapter 2, 
was given to Muhammad as a chapter 87, which means after 86th chapter, this chapter was given. And still people are asking Muhammad for a miracle. And still this Abdul Muhammad, he have no miracle. So how Muslims, they try to fool us, says that from the beginning, they knew it's a miracle. If the, if the book looked like a miracle, those are real Arab people who they speak a very clear Arabic. If they see that this book is a wonderful book, they will not ask. They will say, wow, like, you know what? This Quran is amazing. But still they are asking for a miracle. Here we go after 87. And I can, I can show you tons of those uh, examples. After 87 chapters Muhammad he gave, still those people, they are asking for a miracle. And you're a prophet, the biggest Abdul, he could not perform one miracle. And they keep saying to him, well, you know what? Moses have a miracle. Christ, the God of the Christians have miracles. How come you don't have any? Muhammad never have a miracle and the Quran is not a miracle and actually I'm going to show you from the Quran Allah himself saying that he have no miracle therefore you Muslims are a bunch of liars if we go to chapter 17 verse number 59 uh, we can click at any translation I will read here we go and we refrain from sending the signs we refrain from sending miracles who is speaking Allah supposedly okay now if you Muslims saying to us that Allah gave the Quran as a miracle, why Allah, he says he refrained? <laughs> because if, if, if those words already, they themselves are the miracle, this is a stupid thing to say, I refrain from giving miracles. When he is, when he is speaking those few words, he is making a miracle according to you. Like, isn't it stupid? I am making a miracle right now. And then I say, I refrain. If you look, by the way, in here, and this is was a response for those people who kept asking him for a miracle, but Muhammad, he have nothing, have nothing, absolutely nothing. Even the, the chapter of the moon, the Muslim, they say to you, uh, the moon is split. This is, was not a miracle, and Muhammad never claimed that he did a miracle. In that chapter. Because if it's a miracle, uh, here we go, we have a miracle. Why, why he is saying that to them? You know what? Let us go and check the chapter of the moon and see what was the timing of the chapter of the moon, which means when the chapter of the moon was given to Muhammad. Let us look. Look with me. The chapter of the, uh, uh, of the moon, Al-Qamar, it is in chapter 54 in the book today. It was given to Muhammad as a chapter 37 in the book, or let us say in the way he was given it at that time. But we just showed you that in chapter 2, Al-Baqarah, which was given 87, is still people are asking for Muhammad for a miracle. If he already he split the moon, he will say, you know what, don't you see the moon? I split it already. You know what I'm saying? Chapter of Al-Araf, they are asking the same. Let us go. A chapter of Al-Am. I can show you from every chapter. They are, they, people keep asking him for a miracle. All of those are after the moon chapter. So if the moon chapter was a chapter where a miracle happened, Muhammad he will say, okay, I spread the moon for you. Didn't I spread the moon? If we go and look in chapter 6 or 7, what we will find? Here we go. Chapter 6, verse number 8. Click at Yusuf Ali. Translation. They say, why not an angel sent down to him? If we don't send down an angel, the matter would be uh, settled once and no uh, etc so they are asking like why he don't uh, send the, uh, an angel down to prove to us what what he is about or what about giving us a miracle the same chapter chapter three, uh, three, uh, six, uh, 37 you will see they are asking him you know send us a miracle you know show us a miracle from your God they say why not sign sent down to him from his Lord okay come on you know Allah has certainly power to send down a sign but look look at the but I like this but but and this is proof that there's no miracle is done yet but most of them understand not okay so Allah he will send a miracle he Allah have the power to send but he don't want to send so it's very clear you know that even the moon chapter, the one they speak about moon splitting, it's a lie. Because simply, this chapter, chapter number six, the one we see in here, 
was given 55 which means it was number 55 a chapter 2 in the book today it was given 87 same all other other chapters and still the moon was you know uh, uh, before them therefore if the moon was a miracle of, of the moon splitting was a miracle exist for real then muhammad he will say to them well i split the moon for you for you already as you see it is number 37 the moon splitting chapter 54 it was 37 so it was a fabrication again now as long we are speaking about this uh, let me show you something actually you know what i'm going to show you that thing in the coming video follow with me please uh, and i will call it uh, the moon split miracle in the quran so people they can find that uh, find the, the the video easy uh, but for now we prove to you that what the muslims they claim it's absolutely a joke uh, the quran is full of errors quran is full of mistakes this is why i made my book to expose this religion and my value number two actually is going to be nothing but errors and mistakes in the quran in the same time refuting what the muslims claim about miracles in this book follow with me with the coming video please and i hope you guys you are enjoying them don't forget to spread those videos all over so everybody can get educated and uh, nobody do fool your child or your daughter or your wife or your husband about such an ugly disgusting any human religion it's satanic it's demonic everything in this religion in it it's nothing but blood and killing and hate and violence and molestation and sex there's nothing there except actually satanic belief follow with me with more videos please and uh, the second video will be after this one uh, did the moon really split or let us call it um, the miracle of the moon in the Quran. The miracle of splitting the moon in the Quran. That would be good. Thank you.